Hi, I'm Michael Lindenberger, author of the book Total Workday Control Using Microsoft Outlook. In this video, I'm showing you a brand new feature that Microsoft introduced in Outlook 2010. It's called Quick Steps. Quick Steps are command shortcuts that save you time on repeated email actions in Outlook 2010. You can see them by first making sure you have the Home tab active on the Outlook ribbon, as I show here, and then looking at the middle of that ribbon here. This is the Quick Steps group. Outlook delivers a few Quick Step commands out of the box, like these shown here. For example, if after selecting an email, if I click Reply and Delete, this Quick Step creates an email reply and deletes the original. This is typical for Quick Steps. They combine two or three steps into one. But I feel the real power of Quick Steps comes when you create your own, and I want to show you how to do that. For this demo, I'm going to create a new Outlook 2010 Quick Step that does something that's important to me. What's it going to do? Well, if you've read my book, you know that the best way to get control of your inbox is to convert emails that have actions in them for you to do into prioritized Outlook tasks and then to manage those tasks in the task system. That way you can get control of your inbox and empty it. And book readers know that to do that, I recommend you file all mail into one mail folder called the Processed Mail folder. So this new quick step I'm going to create combines those steps, converting to a task and filing the email, all into one automated button. And just to show the further power of quick steps, this new quick step also assigns a Outlook category called Tasks to the filed mail item. That will tell me later what mail I've converted to tasks. So let me show you how you can create this new quick step yourself. First, find and click the Create New Item. It's right here. Then, type the name you want. I'm going to call this Task and File. Next, select the first action you want. Notice that there is a moderately powerful list of possible actions here. The one I want is called Create a Task with Attachment. Here it is, right here. By the way, see Lesson 7 of my Outlook book for more information on why I selected this one. Next, I want to add a second action. And then I want, of course, want to select what, what I want it to do. In this case, I want to categorize the message. There's the item there. And notice once I do that, it creates a second pop-down menu that shows which categories I can pick from. Here's the one that I'm going to pick. And finally, I'm going to add a third action. And this is the one that's going to file the message into the process mail folder. So select the move to folder item. And then in the new field that pops up, let's choose the process mail folder. Now I've added all the actions, but at this point I can also choose a keyboard shortcut from this list, but I'm going to skip that. Now I can click the finish button to finish the creation of this new quick step. Here it is here. Here's the new quick step. Now let's test this. Here's an email right here from Amazon. The Kindle's just been reduced to $189. I want to create a task to buy this Kindle today, and I'm going to fi file the message all in one step. Here's how I do it. Click on my new task and file button. Here's the new task. So I'm going to change the t title of this to, to be the action that I want to do. Put the start date to today make it a high priority to make sure I do it today, and click Save and Close. Notice the email is gone. It's been filed. Let's go confirm that. I'm going to look in my Process Mail folder. There it is. And next, I'm going to look in the Task folder to make sure that it's been created, converted to a task, and there it is. So this is how easy it is to create a relatively complex command shortcut using Outlook's 2010's new Quick Step functionality. And if you have not done so yet, be sure to read my Outlook book to learn more about how to get control of your email and tasks using Microsoft Outlook. Thank you, and bye-bye.